Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today Insta360 has launched a brand new camera, the Insta360 GO 3. If you are a fan of the GO 2, you're gonna absolutely love this new version. Now usually when we get updated cameras and equipment, it's usually very incremental. But that's not the case with the GO 3. Everything has been redesigned from the ground up. There's better video quality, better audio, better heat management, better battery life, and some incredible new hardware, including this new action pod. This new action pod kind of gives it the look and feel of a traditional action camera. It's super easy to navigate the menu system now, change settings, and change your filming modes. We have a nice big screen to frame up your shots. On top of that, the screen folds up, so if you're going to be doing any type of logging or you just want an easy way to see how your shot is framed, you can do so very easily now. Just like the original GoTo, you just press a button at the side and the camera is released. Now you've got a small point of view camera that you can literally mount anywhere. But the best thing about this action pod is that this also works as a wireless transmitter and remote. You can use it to control the Go 3, stop and start recording. You can go in and change every setting and mode while it's not even connected. But on top of that, you also get a wireless video feed. So that makes it super handy to frame your shot when the camera is mounted elsewhere. No longer do you have to connect the camera to your phone if you need to frame a shot. Now it doesn't have the best range, but it actually isn't too bad. And for most circumstances, it does enough to get the job done. Now just like all Insta360 cameras there's many different filming modes. You can capture star lapses, time lapses, HDR photos, regular photos, videos. But when it comes to video they actually give you two different filming modes. You've got your standard video which is 2.7k and the nice thing with that mode is your video is already stabilized in camera so you don't have to run it through the app to get the stabilization. You can just download it and use it right away. The other is something they're calling freeform with it, you do have to transfer it through the app in order to have it stabilized, but it's a really powerful mode because it allows you to set your field of view and your aspect ratio later. It also allows you to lock the horizon if that's something that you need. So it's really nice that they give you a couple different options for when it comes to filming video, depending on what your needs are. Now on top of that, they've also improved the audio quality. There's now two microphones built into it. That's gonna give you vlog quality audio without having to connect an external microphone. And if you're like me, that's very important because sometimes you just don't want to be bogged down with gear. You just want to grab your camera and start filming. The audio is actually pretty good. I'll play you a sample right now. So yeah, we just got back from our first paddle and that was pretty incredible. I think I found a new uh, hobby, a new passion. Um, gonna deflate the kayak now and then head back to the campsite because I want to go check out the beach. Apparently they got a nice beach here. Uh, so we will uh, go check that out and I think I might even come back for a nice sunset paddle. I think that would be kind of nice as well. So that is it. Now another interesting thing that they've done here is they've included a new magnetic mounting system. So you can just connect your camera and away you go. There's two buttons on the side to release it. The other nice thing is that the camera module itself can make use of the magnetic mounting system as well. So it makes it really easy to mount your go-to wherever you need it. As mentioned, they've made improvements to the battery life. They've almost doubled the amount of recording time. When using just the camera module, you can record up to 45 minutes. However, when you're using the action pod in conjunction with the camera, you can record for up to 170 minutes. If you're filming with just the camera module and it starts to get low in battery power, just pop it in the action pod and you can continue recording. The camera module itself is completely waterproof and you can use this underwater. However, the action pod is not 100% waterproof. It is IPX4, so it is just splash resistant. So don't take this in the water with you, but you can grab some great shots underwater with the camera module itself. On top of that, they've also increased the storage capacity. So you now have a choice depending on what your needs are. You can choose from 32 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, and 128 gigabytes. At 128 gigabytes, that's gonna satisfy most people's needs and it'll allow you to film all day. Now, one nice way to use the Go series is by using their magnetic pendant. This allows you to place the camera on your chest if you want a nice point of view shot. And this here, they've done something different. They've included this wedge. And what that does, you stick it to the pendant first. You can see what that does is it angles the camera, depending on how you turn the wedge. You can have it facing up or facing down. It's a nice little touch. It's all the little details that make this camera very versatile. 
Now, because it is an Insta360 camera, you have full access to all the editing tools built into the app. They've got some pretty powerful tools in there, including some nice AI editing tools. And of course, Shot Labs, which allows you to do some really creative things, which is good if you're going to be sharing to social media. Now, if you're a person who likes to fly FPV, this might be a great choice for you. Here I have it mounted on my DJI Avada. Now, it doesn't really make sense to mount this on the Avada because the Avada already has a good 4K camera. But if you fly custom-built FPV drones, you're going to get some really nice footage with this. Here's some sample footage mounted on my Avada, just so you can get a good feel of what it looks like. So yeah, what a great little camera. Definitely a big improvement over the Go 2. If you're a fan of the Go 2, you're really going to enjoy this new camera. And if you've never tried one, because of the new Action Pod, it makes it very comfortable to switch from something like a GoPro. You're already going to be comfortable with the way it works and the menu system. Plus you have all the advantages of using just the camera module when you need a small point of view camera. Now this is just kind of a first look at the camera. I'm going to do a more thorough in-depth review coming in probably about 30 days. I've been using it now for a couple weeks and I've really enjoyed it. I am living off grid, just adventuring all summer and this camera has already been very valuable to me. It's allowed me to capture some really great shots without bogging me down as mentioned with gear. I'll be making some other tutorials about it, how to use it and a beginner's guide. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hopefully you got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll see you in the next one.